Look at that. We are mobile. Mobile barn. Wow. Look at that thing. That is just too cool. Yo, 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 it's Stevio here. So we got bales on the ground and uh, it's about ready to rain. That's gonna be an issue. How are we gonna solve this? Let's get to it. So uh, I'm sure some of you guessed it. Some of you knew it right away. Some of you uh, found more smaller stuff that was wrong with the farm, so my uh, backup save game, I uh, kind of lost my uh, wife's uh, garden here. Yeah, I would rebuild that, but that's five hours. No one wants to watch that again, and that's uh, five hours of my life. So just think of it this way. That's one less video you get if I spend all my time doing that. So it is what it is. It happens sometimes. It's the game. Here you go, Buck. I've been forgetting to feed you lately. I'm sorry, buddy. There you go. But today we got a building to move. Yes, we gotta move a building. So I wanna move a building so I can basically store the straw big square bales. So that was the plan from the get go. Oh, and other news. We won the land purchase. I don't know if you really call it winning when I still have to pay for it, but uh, I ended up, uh, my bid was the highest bid. So we got it for 200,000. So we're gonna go over there and check that out quickly. So we're pulling up here. Yes, we purchased everything. So that uh, price purchased everything, even the porta potty and the ingredients in the porta potty. There's a lot of work goes into making the ingredients for a porta potty. Oh man, I wish you could smell this. Rotten poo. It's always the best smelling. But you guys all know the increments there. I'm thinking, so I did not know this and I found this out by talking to the owner late, later. I missed a building on this farm. So the idea is to move this building. I'm hoping anyways, I gotta pay a trucker to come over here and uh, help hopefully move it. But I think it's supposed to be I think it's over here somewhere. Oh, wow. Did not see that ditch coming. A huge ditch right there, and I just kind of like uh, went around it. Okay, here, here is the old barn here. So uh, basically, I want to take this uh, little, uh, I guess this big square bale elevator here. I want to take this and move it. So I haven't even looked into this barn yet. Ooh, what? We got a cat over here? This old cat. So, I already kind of knew this was over here. So, he said that this uh, engine is shelled out. You see a lot of these just on the side of the... Basically, I don't know exactly what was wrong, but I think a lot of they had a lot of problems with the tracks in the engine or something. I don't know. I don't know a lot about Caterpillar 75Cs, but I've seen a few in the wee bro. Let's just say that. But uh, I don't know. I'm going to try to sell this. Might be a good part out tr or uh, parting out uh, old tractor. I don't know. Maybe I'll restore it. But I mean, really, we got a lot. We got a big versatile, which I'd much rather be driving than that thing out in the out in our fields. So uh, I don't know if I can. This is probably not safe, but I'm going to climb up here. I know it's not safe. Just deal with it. All right, get in here. So this platform here, I don't know, maybe, so this basically, this can be used. We purchased a whole lot of old uh, vehicles and everything. I'm hoping this door is adequate for getting them in and out, but I think I'm just gonna use this for bale storage up there in the loft. 
the little hayloft up there and then uh, I'll put some of the trucks over there now kind of be my storage because tr I gotta get them running but I can't get them all running right away uh, you guys gonna have to uh, I mean I, I got a farm to run so I, I kind of need my uh, it'll basically be my uh, project barn in hayloft eh, that's normal right that's gotta be normal project barn hayloft as long as the hay doesn't come down and smash all my nice uh, old trucks it's all right so I'm gonna trucker should be here I'm hoping here soon so I'll see so I already had a neighbor call and tell me he's interested in this 2510 I don't know you guys have to let me know should I sell this or not should I I mean that that's gonna be uh, possibly and this old truck so I don't know they're both they they want both of them so they're gonna give me a fair deal oh, man I can smell I'm gonna shut this door I can smell it all the way from over there I mean yep don't need a porta potty in my grass field let's just say that that's not what I want so I, I need to go meet the truckers to basically show them where this building's at. So the big uh, moving company is going to move that building in one piece. Oh, they're not tearing it down. They're going to move it. Put it on a big trailer. All right. Should, I'm just going to pull over here and there should be coming from this direction over here. Oh, here they come. Man. They are moving down them country roads. Stay out of that way. Look at that trucker go. Oh, yeah, I think... Oh, I remember this trucker. The sexy semi end driver driving in that. Ooh, are you going to make that? Oh, they better get out of the way here. Oh, man, they're going to run me over. I need it. She's serious. Yeah, you stay. Oh, oh. Okay, I, I'm I'm the lead, so you kind of have to follow me there. Might want to slow down just a tad going through this uh, area. A little bit too fast. There she comes. Yep, she's got a lead foot. Let's just say that. I'm gonna stay out of her way. I don't know exactly how she wants to. Do this ditch over here. Yeah. Well, not slow, that's for sure. Look at that old trailer. Oh, wow. wow. Pulling a wheelie. Pulling a wheelie and all. Yeah, she's crazy. All right, so basically, if you guys don't know how they move these buildings whole, uh, how they do it, they put a whole bunch of jacks and either they dig under it or they just lift it and then they move that trailer so we're gonna have to basically clear out this whole building but they agreed to do that so I'm not gonna have to do it but I-beams or something jack it up jack it up and then they basically support it over here on the center of it and they go extremely slow down the road and hopefully the structure makes it all the way back to farm that's the hope anyways all right so uh, I need to get back because I need to clear out the spot where this uh, whole uh, big new barn is going to so I need to basically get that road grader again hopefully get a nice level area so we can uh, put this down we don't have to put a foundation or anything We're just gonna put it on the little blocks for now and uh, maybe cement a foundation another day, but don't have time to do that right now. All right, if you could see back there, so we got our leveler. We just used the truck to pick it up, basically. Uh, this thing worked great last time I used it, so I thought, why not just uh, lease it again? So I need to make quick work of this, and uh, that way I don't have to deal with uh, going to pick up a bulldozer. Anybody has ever driven a bulldozer before know that they uh, they do a little crawl. They don't move very fast, and they're extremely heavy, so they 
take a lot of trailer weight and all that stuff to pull, so I don't know. I just think this is easier. So we're going to use this. I think I'm going to move this over here in the flat area here, unhitch it. All right. So now let's uh, unhitch the 8330 here. Got to unhitch this uh, beautiful uh, Kinsey here. That's unhitched. Hoses are undone. All right. Now, you might see a, something different with the front of this thing. I don't know if you guys noticed or not. You guys probably all have noticed it. You probably even noticed it last video, but we got a uh, basically a loader mount on here. Uh, do we, we do have a loader, so I'm going to go hitch that up because that might come in handy when we're moving dirt. So right over here. I believe this is a John Deere 480 loader, a little grappling hook. So it's a little bit bigger of a loader than our 4440. It's a big boy loader. Big 8 series tractors, they need the big boys, they don't need the small boys. But uh, hopefully this will help us lift three of them big square bales at one time. Of course we're not going to be lifting it with our graffle, but uh, this graffle bucket here will work good for moving dirt. All right, move that. You know what? I was just thinking. This would be a great opportunity to use our Versatile. I mean, we haven't gotten to use that power. How about we use that big old V8 to move some dirt? Uh, I think I'm gonna basically run this tractor. I don't know if I'm gonna need this loader or not. Uh, I might use it to uh, put some dirt around here. So we're just going to be putting this building right down the road here. Got to keep it somewhat close because we got to use that straw uh, hay for our cattle. You guys ready to hear this beast? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Let's see if we can make this turn out of here. Yeah, yeah, we made it. There we go. Well, let's hook this old uh, scraper up. Scrapers take a lot of horsepower and definitely a lot of traction, so I think uh, Versatile will do nicely with it. You guys aren't going to believe it. I got this thing all the way over here, and then I realized, oh, we got to use a PTO. Oh, what a bummer. I was hoping to use you. But once again, the Versatile has to go back into the shed. Oh, man. I really wanted to use you, you beautiful beast, you. Uh, oh... Enjoy being hooked up to the Kinsey for a little while there. Now I gotta go drive the 8330 back, so I guess I'm gonna have to use that. Uh, oh man, I drove that all the way over here with the kickstand, or the jack stand, basically all the way down. Oh man, that was a close call there. Woo! Man, I'm so glad I freaking not... Uh, fix saw that before I'd lowered it. Man, that would have been expensive. Them jack stands there are not cheap whatsoever. Alright, so I'm gonna get over here. I'm basically this is where I want to put a nice little pad down, so I'm gonna have to steal some dirt from down here in the little valley here. So hopefully our uh, pond doesn't grow over here because you all know you get to a certain depth, then you start uh, basically uh collecting water. Alright, pushing this dirt up. Wow, yeah, yeah. Gotta get this up on the mound here. Whew! Dang, pulls hard. Man, I wish I could have used the versatile for this. Yeah. Here we go. Come on, deer. Put the deer into it. You can do it. Oh, oh, come on. Come on, you can do it, you can do it. Oh yeah, get up that hill. There, oh wow. Yep. Oh wow, I'm definitely using a lot of fuel doing this, that's for sure. 
Alright, I think that's close enough. I'm gonna get some uh, levels out and see where we're at. Alright, so I put these in a few locations. We're actually pretty close. Uh, my eye is actually pretty good here. For once. For once. Let's see where we're at here. It's pretty good. Just, uh, uh, I'm gonna leave this one, actually. I'm gonna move this one to this other corner here and see where we're at over here. This is good. We are level. Okay. Just, uh, probably a little bit more. This, uh, little corner down here is a little bit far down. So, uh, I'm gonna get these levels out of the way. And then, uh, let's see what we can do. I'm gonna back drag this a little bit more just to level it out. I'm, basically, I'm waiting for uh, them to be ready to move. They said they need a, just a little bit more so they're ready to move. Yeah, pushing down a little bit too hard there, lifting up the front wheels. Really worried because it's getting later in the day. I don't know if we will get to uh, moving them bales, but there is a. Uh, it looks like the chances of rain has diminished a little bit and moved to tomorrow. So I think we might just get lucky, but you know how Mother Nature is. Comes and bites you when you least suspect it. I'm going to take this back and uh, I'm going to call and see where they're at. Or I might just go down there and just go check them out. You know, sometimes when you have people contract for you, you kind of have to just go uh, uh, spy on them. You know what I mean? You know, you can't just let them, you gotta make them think that you could show up at any minute. It's just like the boss. When the boss is away, the employees will play. Same thing with contractors, because you're basically the boss. Uh, I guess Bean's uh, big uh, versatile is over there. 8330 can go into this shop here. All right, let's get this thing and run over there. We've got about a five mile drive here. All right, maybe they did say that they will haul this for me. So if we can get this building basically in place, maybe I can get all my uh, stuff out here. Speaking of which, maybe I should go and try to pull out that boat while I'm down here. What do we got here? Oh man, look at that. We are mobile. Mobile barn. Wow, look at that thing. That is just too cool. Look at that thing. Yep, it's supported on that trailer there. That is cool. What a rig. And that's a cool looking rig. So that barn is airborne. It wouldn't be airborne, it'd be a uh, wheel born. So uh, I guess they are still waiting around a little bit. They have to have a police escort still to go down the road. So they're gonna have to, yeah, we're gonna have to deal with some police. Speaking of which, this truck is nice, man. I got to get into the moving business. Look at this truck. Look at them headlights. We got purple LEDs up front. That is pretty cool. Man, I bet that them tires, they got to rub. Turning and everything. Oh, wow. I'm surprised. Uh, that's that's got to rub. If that is not rubbing when it's basically moving up and down, it's got to rub. I saw this trimmer over here when I was coming in too. What do we have here? Is that lights on that? Holy cow! It's got headlights too. Look at this. It's got a little laptop and everything. I need to get into the moving business. This Kenworth is just sexy. Man, I love that grill. I love the front headlights. Man, if I was a semi driver, I think I'd be running this girl if I was rich. You definitely have to run a lot of hours to pay off that girl, though. 
All right, so I don't know. I, I just wanted to snoop on them a little bit. I'll probably end up taking off. I don't want to see that barn uh, just go into pieces, fall off that trailer, and just uh, fall to pieces. You guys hear something up there? I was over here just looking how hard it would be to move all this equipment. Something's purring up there. Real loud. Let's see what it is, I guess. I need to get out of the way here anyways, because they're going to have to be coming through. Uh, I'm all, they're going to have to find another way out of this place, I think. I think you can get out over on the other side of them trees. What the heck is that thing? Alright, I, I need to tell him that they're going to end up going out over there. He looks like he's here to block traffic. Obviously, he can't go through a ditch, being just a lowrider here. Alright, so I got him moved down. They're going to be coming out right here. There's a little, uh, basically, they can get out right there. And Man, that guy was rude. Definitely rude. But that thing, I don't know what that truck has in it, but oh my goodness, does that thing sound mean. Alright, we'll get back here and see, oh wow, you can just see the building right up there. It's getting closer. Yeah, right at the tip of that barn. I always love the peaks of them barns. It's got the most unique peaks. All right, we're gonna get back over here, and uh, I need to do a few more things back at the farmyard prepping, and then hopefully they could get this building, because I need to get them bales off that field. Come on, guys. Uh, I just gotta do a few things I'm gonna start doing in the garage while they're moving there. I don't, like I said, I, didn't, I just don't want to see that building fall to pieces. Sometimes in old barns, I mean, that barn has to be at least 50 years old, if not older. Uh, I just don't want to see that go to pieces. And then we have to use it for reclaimed barn wood or something like that. Or, I mean, then it'd be all over the road. I guess we get to, uh, utilize our big old grappling hook here. Or, uh, grappling bucket to pick up all that old barn wood. But, uh, that barn is a lot more valuable to us than reclaimed barn wood would be. Because I know my wife wants to uh, redo the living room with some reclaimed barn wood, but she's going to have to find another barn. Maybe once we get all them vehicles out of there, we can use that barn, but not right now. Let's just say that. Not now. I've been working on this old international here. I would like to get it running, but uh, right now it just seems like I'm just having a hard time getting the parts in. Every single time I take something off... Uh, I, hate, I run into another part that's just shelled out, and I have to go get one or try to find one, and that is a nightmare. Oh, I just got a phone call, so I guess they're having a little bit of problems with the branches and everything coming down the road. So they got a high line, line on one side and branches on the other. Let's get this uh, three-wheeler here and see what we got going on down the street. They're not very far down the street, so we'll go race down there and see what we got. I could see them down there. Look, they're right by the grain bins down there. Yeah, I guess some trees are kind of in the roadway over here. we going to have to see what we can do. Well, I see the police escort got here. Uh, but, we got to saw down some of these tree branches. So, yeah. See right here. Maybe we should have just took down this uh, these these high line lines here. Man, that is close. Look how close that is. Whew! That's almost touching. But we are in the trees right there. It's a good thing he stopped. That would have probably did some damage either to the barn siding or the roof. But we gotta get up here, and the tree cutter is basically cutting down them branches. Wow, yeah, we got to cut down a lot of branches. All you uh, tree lovers out there, close your eyes, because this isn't going to be pretty. We got to cut down a lot of them down up here. Man, I do not feel bad. I am not a fond person of heights. 
That's for sure. I'm sure a lot of you are probably just like, what a wuss. But uh, I am not a fun. I like I will walk up these grain bin sides like this all day long, because this is nice and supportive. Like here, I have no problem walking up this thing. But I am not getting into a little itty bitty bucket that every little gust of wind basically blows it side to side. Nope, not for me. Sorry, uh, I just not a fun person of that. So. I'm not terrified of it, I'll do it, but I will have some white knuckles, let's just say that while I'm up there, so if you guys know what I mean, grab something so hard where your knuckles turn white. Alright, well they seem to have this under control, I'm gonna get back and get to more work, because I'm paying them a lot of money to do this, I don't want to do it, but uh, yeah, get to work, we need to get this back so we can get it placed already. Alright, so we need to feed the cattle. While we're waiting over here, cattle and horses, sorry. So let's get them feed, fed. Feed, fed, feed, fed, fed. So our 4620 is actually a little busy right now, so I'm going to use the 4440. I'm going to put use this on our Anderson feed wagon. So uh, you guys might think, uh, oh, you didn't have one of them before. That is correct. That's one of them, uh, what you call them mod conflicts that we had. But, uh, we got the Anderson now. I kind of like this just because you can, uh, feed from both sides, either side of it. So, works out just great, I think. Alright, got it all hitched up. This thing has a scale on it. Got everything. It is a smart mix. Okay, I'll take your word for it. I'm, only, I'm not really sure what this thing is in the back. Is this uh, basically a uh, dump? So you can just dump it straight out the back? I never really noticed that. That looks like... It, I guess that's kind of odd. I guess if you're feeding... Uh, you're not feeding in a manger or something, you want to dump it out the back. You don't want cattle running and possibly getting run over by the tires. Might be a good thing. So I'm hoping with these uh, duels on the side of this thing, we have a little bit easier time getting over here and unloading, because we haven't been having the easiest time, but you can see we really sink in over here, so it's really hard to get over here. I'd need to do something about that fence one of these days. Feed that all up. Alright, I think that's about it. See if we can get out of here. Come on. Come on. There we go. Whew. Yep, that is always a chore. It's like a, a chore for the chore. The morning chore, we got a chore to go through the mud. I know, that was stupid. You can say it. Alright, sorry about that. My, uh camera battery died so I wish I was be able to film some of them unloading that uh, that barn but I couldn't do it because my camera battery died oh it's so frustrating we're gonna go over here and check it out though uh, man it looks like all the police officers and the demon truck is still here listen to that thing I can hear it over the three-wheeler here and these things have a serious freaking pop to them you can hear it back there but uh it's getting late tonight here i think they are just about done if i it looks like they are just about done uh everything so we got the barn here so we just put it on the regular dirt for now i might put a foundation one of these days we'll just have to lift it up again put a foundation if we want to right now it's just going to be a hayloft and a project uh barn but uh, I think it'll work out nicely here on the farm here. They look like they are about ready to go. But uh, thank you all for watching. And I will see you later over here in Missouri. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share and subscribe. You guys want to watch me drive this thing? I know you're going to want to watch it. I mean, this thing is sweet look inside this thing i know 
I know I shouldn't be driving this, but uh, why not listen to this thing purr? And it goes, I think we might be able to catch that truck. Throwing dust everywhere. Man, is that loud. Oh no, we got it high centered. We got it. We got it. We got it. If you like the video, make sure you don't forget to smash that like button. See y'all next time. Oh yeah. We're going now. Speed of light!